Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Keystone Passport 2520 RL. It's a great couples coach. Let's go ahead and start on the outside here. We'll look at some of the features out here and then we'll head on in. One of the first things you notice is this. This is your propane tank cover. Right inside here are your two 20 pound propane tanks. Very easy to get to. You just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door and you can get right down in there. Behind that, you will notice the rails here, uh, here for your battery and it is large enough you can have two batteries on this coach, which is great, especially if you like to do a lot of boondocking. Then coming up the front here is the black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. On the far side, you will see a light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. And then right down below there, you will see the uh, solar prep. So again, if you want a boondock, you want that solar, not a problem. Just buy the panels, plug it in right there, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. When we come around to this side here, we can take a look at the pass-through. You will notice that it does have a covered hinge here. That way you won't get a bunch of rust coming down your door. Also magnetic, so it's nice and easy to put up. You're not going to have any tabs that break off on you. One of the things I love about Passport Pass-Through is how big it is. Look at that huge storage you get up front here. LED light in there. You can see the aluminum framing and nice wide doors. So if you have larger items like some of your chairs, they can slide in there a lot easier than a lot of your other travel trailers. Let's drop down underneath real quick. Uh, something I like to talk about is the frame on here. If you notice these guys right here all the way throughout, those are huck bolts because this utilizes a huck bolt frame. Uh, huck bolt has some advantages over a welded frame. One, the number one place that your frame rusts out at is right at those weld points. So by eliminating those welds, you eliminate the chance for those to rust out. Also, if you ever do have any kind of damage, the huck bolt frame is a lot easier to repair than your standard welded frame, meaning it will cost you less money. If we take a look at the sidewall here, you'll notice the beautiful laminated sidewall, nice curve on the front end to help with aerodynamics there too. Also, big power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there and an LED light strip underneath, so that way you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Getting into the 2520 is very simple. Right here is your easy grab handle. This does fold. This will ensure you have nice secure grip from the first step all the way into the coach or when you're coming out three steps on here as well. That way the first one is nice and low. So if you have bad knees, it is still easy to get in and out of here. Uh, if we take a look right down below, the Passport utilizes what they call load equalization axles, which is really just a fancy name for a spread axle system. But it is a great system. Essentially what it is when you have those widespread axles, it helps reduce sway there. That way you get better towability, especially in conjunction with the unit being lighter weight. Also, you have aluminum alloy rims, so they're not going to rust up on you. Less chance for any kind of corrosion there, too. Also, underneath, something else you can't see. This unit does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Not that you'd need it on a beautiful day like today, but if it is colder out, maybe it's early spring or late fall, and at night it starts to dip below those freezing temperatures. As long as you have the furnace running, it's going to shoot hot air down below, which will make sure your tanks and lines are heated so they don't freeze up on you. Right here is an outside electrical outlet, so if you need to plug anything in, that is the place to do it. Come on back here, a couple quick things I want to talk about. One is this right here, good extra storage outside. You can see that right there. Gotta love extra storage, even though you have that big pass-through. I do like they give you this too, again, just nice and quick and easy to get at. Uh, up top, one thing I forgot to mention there are the speakers. So if you want to listen to music outside, you can do that. Those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, but it is Bluetooth capable. When we come around to the back here, this is an outside grill mount. This unit does come with a grill. Uh, when the manufacturer ships it, it comes under the bed, but this is great. You can hook it on right here to spin this around. Then right underneath there is a propane quick connect. So that way you can just use your big 20 pound bottles rather than having to buy the separate small little green ones. Right here is your spare tire mounted on the bumper. It does have the cover on here to make sure that's in good shape. 
You have a nice window right here, so you are able to see if you have a beautiful view out the back, you can enjoy it in this camper. And then up top in the center, you will see this unit does have the backup camera prep. So that way, if you do want a backup camera, it is a lot easier to have that installed. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Keystone Passport 2520RL. This particular model is in the granite interior. Uh, one of the things I like about this floor plan, it's under 5,000 pounds, and you can see how nice and spacious it is, especially with your slide out here. If you take a look at the ceiling real quick, a couple things I want to point out. You'll see you do have interior speakers, LED lights throughout the entire coach. That's a pretty big deal, especially if you're doing a lot of boondocking, uh, because not only do the LED lights not put out as much heat, but they also use a fraction of the power. You'll see you have a skylight right here, and that does open, so if you want to open that up for some nice ventilation, you can do that. Otherwise, it lets in a lot of natural light. If it's too hot outside, you need to turn on the AC, do not worry, you have a ducted AC right here, which is great. Uh, this does have a quick dump too, which is really nice for loading or unloading the RV. That way all you have to do is open this up, all the cool air will dump right here. Uh, that way, again, it'll help cool you down. And then when you're done loading up, just close that again and it will run back through the ductwork. Let's take a look over here. When you walk in, you have this nice little versatile closet space. This is something that Passport tries to put in all their units, and I really like it because it gives you the customization to be able to make fit what works for you. You can see you have a hanging rod across the top, removable shelves here. So if you need to take a couple of shelves out, hang stuff up, you can do that. Otherwise, you can leave those in there, use it for pantry space, whatever your heart desires. Right over here is your fridge freezer combo. You can see it's nice and big there. You have a cutout here for some taller items. If you have like a half gallon of orange juice, something like that. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Microwave right here. There's the weight of the unit. 5, 000, or 4,860 pounds, so under that 5,000 mark. Uh, you have your hood with a light and fan. And then directly underneath that, as you would expect, you have the cooktop. Uh, this unit has the Atwood cooktop, three burners on there. I personally like Atwood. Uh, I think it has great flame control, nice and easy to use. And if you take a look underneath, it also comes with an oven in case you'd like to do some baking. Now, one of the great things about this particular floor plan is how much countertop space you have. Take a look at that. That is great. You know, you have much bigger trailers that don't have this much countertop space. And they also are able to put in a double bowl sink here because of that. If we lift off your sink top covers, you can see the sink, larger one on the left, smaller on the right, with a high-rise faucet there. And both these sink top covers are cutting board quality, so if you want to flip it over, use it as a cutting board, and then turn them back when you're done, you can certainly do that. Two big windows right here as well. Uh, you know, most kitchens, again, an RV, especially this size, have one. They give you two, makes it nice and bright when you open those up. Uh, it also gives you a view to your campsite. At nighttime, you have two LED lights right under here to help brighten things up. You'll also notice you have an electrical outlet here as well as one right over there. So if you need to plug in toaster, coffee maker, whatever else you want to plug in the kitchen, it is easy to do. One of the other things I like to do in the kitchen is this right here, which is your raised panel cabinetry. It really gives it that nice high-end look. Uh, you have the brush nickel pulls on here. When you open this up, you see it doesn't have a style, so if you have some larger items, you can easily fit them up there. Uh, you know, I, if you want to put something big like board games up there, you could. Again, I'd probably use it for pantry. Um, and then this one over here, again, is kind of at your discretion. This one does go all the way back into the corner, so it is a much larger storage space than uh, what it first appears. If we take a look underneath the sink here, you have good storage here as well. You can see you do have some there as well as underneath. This is great for pots and pans down here. And then you, you have two very large full extension ball bearing drawers, which are perfect for your silverware and some of your larger utensils like your spatulas, things like that. If we take a look at the back of the RV, you'll notice your jackknife style sofa. Because this is the granite interior, you have the nice black sofa here. Uh, one of the things I like they do on the jackknife sofa is they give you armrests. That's pretty neat because I don't know if you've sat in a jackknife sofa without them, but it can be pretty uncomfortable if they're not there. Also, the big advantage of a jackknife sofa is the storage underneath. You can see how much storage you have there. It's very easy to get to. It's a great place to put any kind of extra blankets, pillows, things of that nature. Also, the jackknife sofa does fold down into a bed if you need the additional sleeping space.
This is the big window right here I showed you when we were outside. Nice big rear picture window, additional one right over here. Then you can see you have the little uh, end table there with an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a cell phone, something like that, it gives you the place to do that. LED light here for reading and storage all the way across the top. Now here they went with the tinted glass, which uh, I think is a good option. You know, it kind of helps break the look up a little and you can see how much storage you have all the way across there. Shoot over to our slide out real quick. Uh, so Passport really makes a nice U-shaped dinette in my opinion. Uh, and they do that for a couple reasons. So one, if you take a look at the seat here, rather than being cloth, they do make this a leatherette. So you still have the nice cloth pattern here to give that appeal to the eye, but then they have this on the bottom. So that way, if uh, you know you spill anything, this is a heck of a lot easier to clean up. You don't have to worry about cloth that's going to get ruined. Also, they put in a large table. So if you wanna sit here and play a game or have a meal together, you can have friends over and everyone can sit around the table there. Also, if you have some friends that come over and wanna stay the night, you know, while they can sleep on the jackknife sofa, it's generally kind of small for an adult. Whereas this U-shaped dinette, the table here will drop down and just pull these legs out, sit the table along the rails, take these back cushions, fill it in, and this is large enough for two uh, adults to be able to comfortably sleep on. Then for storage, again, great storage in this RV. You can see uh, under both sides here, you have the door. So rather than having to lift up the cushion to access the storage, you can just do it here on the sides. Windows all the way around, let in a lot of natural light there too. Now, if you're sitting in the couch, the u dinette it's a rainy day, maybe you want to watch some TV, perfect. This unit comes equipped with one, and that is hooked up to your multimedia center right here. I did briefly mention we were outside, that this controls your speakers outside, it also controls the speakers inside, and it is Bluetooth capable. But it's also a radio, CD, and DVD player, so if you want to watch a movie, you are already hooked up and ready to go. Right up top, again, the tinted glass there, a little bit of extra storage. And then you have some more storage right here down below. If you take a look right over here. Uh, one of the other things I want to show you, take a look at this. This is your control panel. So as soon as you walk in, your control panel's right here. Nice and easy to open up your slide. Obviously, you have lights there as well as your tank monitoring system. But the thing I really want to point out is this right here. This uses an Atwood water heater. You'll see you can use gas or electric on that water heater. Or if you want, you can turn them on, uh, both on at the same time for higher recovery. The other thing about the Atwood, you know, it's one of those things that are hidden value. Like if you don't know, you would never be able to see it. But the Atwood water heater costs manufacturer a little more money, but you get this. Also, it doesn't use an anode rod. Uh, the, the other one, which is a Suburban, uses an anode rod. You have to replace after a while because aggressive water eats it up uh, because they use a steel tank whereas the Atwood uses an aluminum tank, so you don't have to worry about any rust or corrosion. And although, you know, again, it seems like a minor thing, on the maintenance side of things, that's a big advantage. It's one less thing you have to remember to do. And if you're anything like me, you're more worried about camping, making sure all your, you know, your cupboard doors are shut, your slide is in, and that's probably the last thing on your mind. So uh, I really do like having an Atwood in my campers. Now, if you take a look right over here, this is nice too. On the other side of the door, you have some good storage. You have a coat rack here. So if you don't want to use the hanging rod in the other cabinet, you can use this for coat storage. Then look, you have shelves all through here. So if you want to uh, take some shoes and throw them in there, that is very simple to do as well. In the bathroom of the 2520, you see right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room there. And straight up above that is your vent fan so you can quickly help moisture escape. Over to the side, you see the Neo Angle shower here. Uh, as I open that up, you can notice the, uh, the hand wand there. You will also have some shelves as well as your big skylight up top, which lets in a lot of natural light and also gives you additional headroom. Then right over here to the side, you can see the mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. Underneath, you have your sink top and vanity, electrical outlet, and more storage. One of the neat features about the bedroom of the 2520 is this right here, which is your slider door. A lot of uh, travel trailers in this weight range would have a curtition or a curtain, but the door gives you a lot more privacy. The other part I really like is the bed. This is a residential size queen bed. It's the full 60 by 80 inches. So if you are a taller person, you don't have to worry about your feet hanging halfway off the bed. 
On either side of the bed there, you'll see you have mirrored wardrobe, so you have good hanging space for your clothes, shelf up top, as well as uh, kind of like the nice little nightstand down here on the bottom. And you have electrical outlets on both sides of the bed. So if you need to plug in a cell phone or a CPAP machine, uh, you have a place in which you can do that. Right underneath here, you have a couple LED reading lights and then storage all the way across, again, with the tinted glass there. If you'd like to watch TV before bed, do not worry. Right up top here are your TV connections, so that way you can enjoy a nice show. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Keystone Passport 2520RL. This particular model is in the granite interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.